<laughs> you know, I see and deal with so many people that formulate opinions based on speculation rather than on information. Because speculation, you can sit back and state something and somebody goes, oh, that sounds right, so they jump in on it. Information is a neutral where you can go one way or the other with it. You can either verify the facts of the information or you can formulate an opinion based upon information and you might be partially correct. Sadly, truth is neither one of those. It's not information and it's not speculation. It is revelation. It is God revealing all aspects of the information so that we can know and we can put our faith in it. In modern days, people are putting their faith in speculation, often with little or no information. They create an environment of hatreds and biases and opinions that causes them to fall into flesh and they let their mind without it being reprogrammed to love first they let their mind rule their logic and their intellect to a point where they base anything and everything of what they do on what they can see and what they feel like at the moment and when you do that you wind up losing the discernment that the Holy Spirit gives you to love first to forgive first to have mercy first as God does and then understand where the person is coming from and try to reconcile the information you might have with the revelation of a person's heart as God shows you where they're at why they're at and what brought them to that place so that way you can minister to them in a way that Jesus did. Jesus didn't come along to condemn the world. And yet, most of his, I won't say most, I should say a lot of his people today are more into the condemnation than they are of the salvation. You know, we live in a land that really wants to pick apart its people and find the negative qualities which are obviously there in every one of us rather than highlight that which is good and to build upon that which is holy and to cause a person to choose the right way they should go because of that our society is falling apart it's probable that if the world would not end in the next 10 years that our society would become extremely evil and perverse not because of the non-Christian in, in the land, but because the Christian in the land would begin to gnaw at each other and to be like wolves that once they get a piece of meat, they tear it apart and then they start tearing from each other that which the morsels they had for themselves. And that's not what God called us to do because the bottom line is he said that by this shall all men know that you are my disciples indeed. In that you have love for one another. Do you love the brethren? Because if you don't, the question would be, are you his disciple? God calling. Many of my disciples have had to stay on in the dark, alone and friendless. They struggled on singing as they went. For you too, there must be songs on the way. Should I plant your feet on an insecure ladder? It supports may be out of your sight, hidden in the secret place of the Most High. But if I have asked you to step on and step up firmly, then surely I have secured your ladder. When God gives us something to move forward on, uh, attitude or an action or a direction, He always provides the support for us if we are willing to look for it like reaching for the rung of a ladder you have to see in some respects the direction that you're going so you know you're not walking into a pit and so 
in some ways, yes, you step out in faith, but in other ways, you don't just obliviously or blindly leap off of a tall building in a single bound. You go where and how and when the Lord directs you. And when you do, you find that He gives songs in the night. He gives, if it's, if it's a challenge to you at the time, He'll give you a song to sing. Uh, way or another way of looking at that isn't so much of singing sometimes as the song means that you can be happy in that which God has provided for you at the moment that you're doing what it is that he chose you to do and knowing that he wants you to do it for me brings <laughs> either a chuckle or a, a laugh or a smile or a joy or a song or a peace so, in devotionals every day, that's what we do, is we seek to find that place where God has chosen to meet and direct and dedicate our directions and our footsteps of a righteous man which we become as we walk in his way, as we learn to pace ourselves in his footsteps. Walking with God and hearing him speak is pretty simple, really. As soon as he does, you do it. When he doesn't, you don't.